Hey friends, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to show you something new. Boom! I cut my hair. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I am loving a shorter look for me and it feels so healthy. It's just like such a chopped, like blunt cut. I feel like it's just so refreshing to have like really healthy ends. Um, anyways, this is my only second time. This is my second time only curling it. So I'm kind of still trying to get like the hang of curling shorter hair, but I'm loving it. So today's Monday and we are going to head out and I just packed up a bunch of snacks for the kids. It's a little bit of a drive to go see the new house. So I'm not really sure if anything extra has been done on it. We drove out there a few weeks ago and they had poured the concrete. And so we were really excited to see that, but I didn't show you guys over here on YouTube. Um, so I wanted to make sure and document today as we go out and check out the house. Now there are some fires going on in Southern California. So the sky looks really ugly and like it's not a very pretty drive so you'll see that as we drive out there but i wanted to take you guys along on the journey and the process of the house getting built so let's go This is the dining room. This is the office. Here's the kitchen. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Let's see. This is where the stairs are gonna go up here. And then that's where the couch will be. And then here is, there's like red ants over here. Here's the backyard. Wow, and that's our garage. Good morning friends, it's the next day. Sorry I dropped off yesterday, but it is 8.30 in the morning. I just dropped off some donuts to the church for staff meeting. It was so nice being in the car by myself, going on a drive by myself. Um, the whole like virtual learning thing is really like weighing on me and maybe I'll talk more about that later, but uh, it just feels so good to get out of the house. Sean's not feeling well, which makes me a little bit nervous, but we will just keep an eye on it and have him rest and stuff like that. So anyways, that's why I dropped off donuts at the church. And then I am just headed back in the house. I just pulled back into the garage and now I'm going to be um, helping the kids with virtual learning all day. And so I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog between now and like, 2 p.m. 
but I will try to do a little bit here and there and then later on I will give you an update of the house and what's going on when we're gonna be moving in and all that kind of stuff so make sure you stick around because you're gonna want to hear the update okay so because Sean is not feeling good I told my parents not to come pick up Hudson which is like a huge bummer because they usually pick him up twice a week for him to come over and play and that way I can focus more on school with the older two kiddos but that's not gonna be an option today but I did want to show you guys because I have been losing like a ton of weight and you guys know I've tried everything this year like whole 30 keto counting calories blah 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 all the things and nothing has worked for me but this is working for me so I have to show you guys I'm gonna do a video on it soon not sponsored I'm paying for it all the way so this is where I log what I'm eating for the day. So I had a shake this morning with my coffee in like mixed in it. And then I had a peanut butter um, granola bar. This is what I ate yesterday. And then I have four more meals for today. One of which I will make for myself. The rest, the rest of them are sent to me, which is really nice. That's what you pay for. And then this is where I log my water. I have not finished my big water cup, but I'm almost done with it, which is three glasses of water. And like I said, I will be sharing more on that soon. Um, I'm really excited to share just in case anybody out there is looking for something to help them lose some weight. I know for me, I was like getting desperate. Um, and so it's been like such a gift to be able to finally start like shedding the weight. In other news, we are plowing our way through our to-do list for the day. This is Fiona's to-do list. Sorry, my phone is going off. Um, but this is what I have left for Fiona. This is what I have left for Bentley. So we're actually in really good shape for this time of day. And then here's mommy's to-do list, which is stay positive, let things go, put a load of laundry in and do my voiceover music and thumbnail for my cleaning video for tomorrow. So this will have to wait for much later. These things, I am doing a good job at today. I am working on staying positive and just letting things go. Look at my neighbor's bush. Isn't that pretty? It's like so full of flowers and so pretty. And I don't have to water it. Yay. Um, I wanted to thank Starbright for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And I wanted to show you some of the products that they sent us for our patio. We are loving them and I'll show you in just a second. You wanna show them, Huddy? Look, that's me. It's red. It's leaf. It's big. It's big? Yeah. Okay, so this is the Starbright box that the string lights came in. They are solar LED string lights. They came in a two pack and there are 150 LEDs. And then the back just shows you like the installation process and how you just put them together and it was super super simple they have a copper wire and the led color is warm white and we absolutely love them so this is my lemon tree that is really in sad shape don't judge me i'm not really good with plants but all we did was stick this into the dirt and then it just collects the sun during the day and then we wrapped it around the stems so at night when we're sitting out here, it's like this really pretty lit up tree. And let me show you the other one that's over here. Again, don't judge me. I need to clip these things out. But um, this is the second one that we have and it's just in one of our planters. And we just wrapped it around here. See how thin it is? 
and you can see the lights and you can see how small the lights are they're not very big but they just are like a really pretty backlighting for your outside area and i wanted to show you guys how easy it is to hang them up i just put them on my umbrella pole and they just go on so easily they wrap up at the top like super easy and I wanted to show you guys also how they look at night. I feel like it brightens up the back porch and the kids absolutely are obsessed with them. So I love how these highlight fixtures, the landscaping, trees, fountains, porches, and anything else that you have in your backyard. They have dust to dawn light technology that turns on automatically. And they are all solar, so no constant battery installation or upkeep. So it only took us like five minutes to set up those star bright lights back here and it has seriously like transformed our back area. It's so fun sitting out here at night now. It just feels like more luxurious. Also, I wanted to mention that they are weather resistant and they work in the rain. So we have been loving those lights. So if you want to transform your back patio or your backyard, make sure you check out the links in my description box. I have everything included and you should pick yourself up some star bright lights today. Hey friends, okay, worst vlogger ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just finished eating dinner. My mom actually brought over dinner. We were supposed to go over to their house tonight to have family dinner, but <clears throat> Sean's not feeling well, so just to be on the safe side, we're not going to go over there. But I wanted to catch up on here and kind of tell you guys what's been going on with the house stuff because I think the last time I posted on Inst or YouTube, I think the last time was when we told you which house we chose. So back when we, th well, so back when we first bought the house or when we first picked it, our move-in date was January 20th, um, which felt like forever, but <laughs> wouldn't feel so bad now because our move-in date has moved to March so we won't be moving until like another half of a year so it's fine it's not like that big of a deal I think we're just excited about moving so um but it'll be good for us because we can like declutter the house and like pack up slowly and stuff like that it won't be like a rush or anything so there are positives to moving in March. We recently got a email from the solar company. So we are gonna be getting solar put in and, um, or solar panels. And so yeah, that should be pretty cool. We are talking through like a lot of the um, inside design stuff because we do get to meet with like a design forget what they call it what do they call it the design center is what they call it and um basically it's just the people who we tell like we want this color countertops and like backsplash or no backsplash which we think we're gonna do our backsplash ourselves like have somebody who we find do it because we think it'll be cheaper than having them do it but we really want to get um like there's not a ton of upgrades we're going to do we're not going to do very many but we do want to do flooring in the downstairs area that is um like a wood vinyl and um so yeah so we really want to get like the right shade of that so that's where our money will be spent for the house um we are doing an upgrade which is white cabinets throughout the house and we're going to get pull handles which both of those things are upgrades. Um, I think that it comes with brown cabinets and then um, I don't think that it comes with any pull handles. So we are going to do that throughout the whole house which is really exciting. So I think that's all the update that I have on the house as of now. Um, I got to figure out like what I want to do on the front porch. I have like a long list of things that we need to purchase because going from like an 1100 square foot house to a 2400 square foot house is just like we're gonna need more furniture. So 
We need to get a bed for Fiona. We need to get a bed for the guest bedroom and hopefully like some nightstands or like lamps. We need to get a desk for the office area and like something to go under the TV. We need to get a couple chairs for our room. We need to get, um, let's see, what else do we need to get? Oh, I wanted to get stuff for the front porch. So I haven't decided exactly what I wanna go with yet cause it has like, you go in, you walk into the front porch area and then it has like two sides of the front porch. So I wanna be able to put like little sitting area so i i found these cool like rockers from walmart that i was thinking of getting but i'm not sure if i want to do rockers on both sides or if i should do like a bench on both sides let me know in the comments what you think so anyways i am editing a video actually two videos and um i came upstairs after eating dinner with the fam and i'm just going to be editing it's 6 15 and um yeah so let me know if i forgot if there's any like questions or comments that you have about the house that i have not gone over yet but i'm really excited that yesterday we were able to like take you guys on a little tour through it um and that you can kind of like see some of the house build going on so anyways i am going to be editing for the next like hour ish Hello with my crazy hair. <laughs> I just put, or we just put, or Sean just put the kids to bed. <laughs> and I just finished, oh, that's bright. And I just finished editing a cleaning video that'll be up tomorrow. But I came over here and we wanted to check out the um, twinkle lights. Pretty cool. Those ones are not as cool. We didn't do a very good job stringing them. <laughs> These ones are a little bit more like on the branches, which I really like them. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments and I hope you enjoyed today's video with all the home updates and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.